16 best indoor plants to get rid of toxins and chemicals. Can indoor plants really reduce toxins? Are they natural air purifiers? Questions similar to these might be bumping into your head. Not only do they clean indoor air, but their aroma and color can refresh your mood. To prove indoor plants are effective in cleaning indoor air, a research was conducted in the late 80s. NASA and Associated Landscape Contractors of America collaborated to carry out an experiment on cleaning air in 1989. The experiment was conducted in the enclosed area and they concluded home plants can reduce toxins in the air. Further, they suggested having at least one plant in a hundred square feet at home. You might be thinking, research is too old. It might not be very effective today. Research is surely age old, but plants are not. You will get the same benefits from the plant as in the 80s. On that note, today we are listing 16 indoor plants recommended by the research done in 1989. Before we begin listing, do hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any updates from our channel. 1. Peace Lily it is one of the easiest to grow and low maintenance plants you can have in your space. It has the remarkable ability to purify indoor air and look amazing in your house. Peace Lily has a beautiful flower that gives a special touch of nature to your room. You don't have to do much to take care of Peace Lily. It is drought tolerant. So you don't have to worry about constant watering. Overwatering can kill them. The right time to water a peace lily is when it starts to droop. 2. English Ivy It's a beautiful plant to have in your house. English Ivy is a kind of fussy plant, but its fussiness is exactly what enhances its beauty and area of your house, wherever you place it. And the best way to decorate your house with English Ivy is to hang it in the basket. It grows by falling off the basket and that fall just satisfies your eyes. When it comes to maintenance requirements, English Ivy is a bit demanding. You have to water the soil and leaves frequently, provide indirect light, and protect it from wind and excessive heat. So, find a spot in your house where the sunlight is mild and a barrier that can protect it from heavy wind. 3. Snake Plant This is a very common indoor plant and you will find it in most plant lovers house. It doesn't require bright light. It can grow in low light too. And you don't have to water it regularly. And it has thick leaves. So you don't have to worry about leaves getting torn easily. And just like any other home plant, it can purify indoor air by removing toxins. And also, it is very appealing and gives you a natural feeling. 4. Spider Plant It is an elegant and easy care plant that grows faster. So, much effort is not required to maintain it. You can place spider plants from bright to moderate light, but don't place them to direct sunlight. As long as it gets some light, it can sustain. And spider plant doesn't require a lot of water until the soil is moist. 5. Boston Fern Boston fern looks beautiful hanging on the balcony and porch. To grow Boston fern, you don't need a big pot. Not even a medium-sized pot is required. You can grow it in the small pot very well. And it grows best when it gets indirect sunlight. And the soil has to be moist but not soggy. If the water is heavy on the soil, leaves may turn brown and die. 6. Money Plant Money plant is one such plant that you need to water unless it releases water from potholes. So, you will need a pot with holes and a pot plate to not allow the water to wet the floor. You just have to dip water it once or twice a week. The interesting fact about the money plant is, unlike other plants, it produces oxygen at night instead of in daytime. And it grows well in low and bright light. The best way to decorate the money plant is by allowing it to grow by the edge of the balcony entrance. And if you have a garden balcony, 
It's like a cherry on the top. 7. Janet Craig. This amazing plant can grow up to 12 to 15 feet. It grows better at comfortable room temperature. Talking about its maintenance, you don't have to water it regularly. You can water it every week. Just like a money plant, you need to water it thoroughly, allowing water to reach the surface of the soil. If the leaves are turning yellow, it is a sign of improper soil moisture. So, water it as soon as the leaves start yellowing. 8. Bamboo Palm Bamboo palm is said to bring good luck and prosperity when grown. It doesn't just purify the air, but it may also bring some positive changes in life. It is believed that when bamboo palm is kept in the southeast zone, it can attract wealth. You can try it if you believe these things. Let us know in the comment section if it works or not. And bamboo palm needs a lot of water. Actually, it needs deep watering once and can be watered less frequently. 9. Flamingo Lily The dark leaves and rich red color of the flamingo lily adds a royal vibe to the room. This stunningly beautiful plant grows extremely well. And placing a flamingo lily pot near the white wall just looks fantastic. For its placement, look for that spot where sunlight doesn't hit directly. This plant flourishes best in indirect sunlight. Like many other plants on the list, you don't need constant care. Watering it once a week is sufficient. When you take good care of this beautiful plant, it can survive for several months. 10. Chrysanthemum This bushy yet very pretty plant can occupy a space in your house giving you a nature-like vibe. The best part is, you can get this plant in a bunch of different colors and shapes. Set each chrysanthemum at different corners of your house. It will make your home look vibrant. Or you may also keep all color chrysanthemums together in one spot. They look good when placed in that manner too. 11. Burbaton Daisy Burbaton Daisy has many names. It is also known as Gerber Zemisani, Transvaal and Gerber Daisy. Don't get confused if you hear these names. They all are the same. And this is a plant you don't have to hide from the sunlight. Gerber Zemisani needs full direct sunlight to blossom. And watering can be done once a week. While discussing each indoor plant, we have mentioned how you need to water it and where you have to place it. Because it's crucial to take good care of the plant to expand its life. 12. Aloe Vera Aloe Vera doesn't just keep your home air clean. In fact, it has many benefits. You can use its gel on your hair for shine, use it on your skin for acne, and drink it to clean your stomach. All these benefits don't come easily. You need to have good knowledge to grow and maintain aloe vera. First things first, you will need a cactus pot with holes as aloe vera can't hold standing water. And get a soil mix because it helps aloe vera grow better. And you can place it in the room or on the terrace. Light is not a problem for the aloe vera to grow. 13. Areca Palm This plant gives color to the boring room. It is popularly known as yellow palm or butterfly palm and famous among plant lovers. People usually love to display areca palm near the staircase, by the side of the door, to the balcony, or somewhere in the open area. It requires a lot of light to grow, but not direct sunlight. So find a bright place in your house for areca palm. 14. Aglionema Very commonly known as Chinese evergreen, Aglionema is considered a luck-bringing plant in Asia and also is the best air purifier you can have in your house. And Aglionema grows better in indirect sunlight. Placing it in direct sunlight can burn its leaves. So, do find that appropriate space in your home. 15. Dendrobium orchids It's an ever-popular indoor plant. 
because of its ability to grow in any environment. It has been a popular choice of many. It can grow anywhere on the earth, except in extreme hot or cold weather conditions. Like most of the plant, it also flourishes in indirect sunlight. And you don't have to worry about watering it. You can water it less frequently. 16. Kimberly Queen Fern This bushy looking plant requires sunlight to grow well. The right spot for Kimberly Queen Fern can be a north-facing window. As the plant faces directly to the sunlight, soil can dry sooner. So, you have to keep checking it. Soil drying is a common reason for Kimberly Queen Fern's leaves to fall. If you see dry soil, immediately soak it with water. These are the 16 best indoor plant options. Let us know in the comment section which plant or plants you have chosen for your home. Like and share our video. Stay connected as we have more videos on the way.